Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank Be Chopping, and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. Alright, guys, what we're gonna be doing on this cut is a trim on top and a high taper. Let's get it. So jumping straight into this haircut, I'm going to start off by saturating the top of my client's head, getting it all prepped for my sheer work. And once again, guys, we are going to be trimming the top. I am going to be taking about a quarter of an inch off, not too much, just a little trim all the way around. So I'm starting off by setting my guideline towards the crown area, working my way forward. And as you can see, I did cut off a little bit of hair, and then I'm going to use that as a traveling guideline coming forward. So anything that's longer than that initial guideline, I'm making sure to cut off. And I'm going to use this guideline in the middle of my client's head to make sure that I keep the length on top all that same length. So now I'm setting in my sections coming the opposite way, or I'm sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm setting in my sections coming the opposite way, working my way back. And as y'all can see towards the middle of my client's head, y'all can see that's where the guideline is. And anything that's longer than that guideline, I'm making sure to clip off. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Anything longer than that uh, initial guideline in the middle of my client's head, I'm making sure to cut off. Uh, and also, you know, I know I cut off about a quarter of an inch or so, so I wasn't really too like, uh, how can I explain? Like, I wasn't really worried about if it, if it didn't match perfectly, like if I, or if I couldn't find the guideline, that's what I was looking for. If I'm not going to find the guideline, that's perfectly fine because I knew about how much I was going to take off. And then I'm going to go back in and double check my work anyways, you know what I'm saying? Just um, section the hair off some more and then see if there's any pieces that are too long. And with this style of hair, the style that it's going for, you know, it's going for like that messy, curly type look. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It, it, there are going to be some uh, strands of hair that may slightly be longer and that's perfectly fine because that will add a little bit of texture to this hair and it's gonna help it you know give it that curly look and what I'm doing here is I'm working on the parietal ridge area and the crown area and I'm doing the same thing I'm just angling my fingers at a different angle but anything that's longer than that original guideline I'm still making sure that I cut off And as y'all can see here, this is a better angle. I'm coming outward instead of uh, up. If you pull this hair up, it's not going to give an even cut. So since the, he the head on the side and the back is outward, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you want to make sure you pull the hair out on the sides and the back. That way, when you're trimming it, it still is a nice even cut. So now I'm going in with my blow dryer. I got my diffuser on the blow dryer, which is blow drying the top of my client's hair a little bit. Kind of like pre-styling it a little bit, just so we can get somewhat of a finished look when I start tapering it in. That way when I taper it, you know, it matches with what he's trying to do on top. And his hair is already kind of curly, you know what I'm saying? It's not like super, super curly. His, his curls aren't super tight, but they, they are uh, slightly curly, you know what I'm saying? His hair is slightly curly, so I have to go in with this diffuser. I mean, I didn't have to, but I am going in with the diffuser just to blow dry a little bit and uh, keep that look. That way I can go ahead and taper it in and make sure, like I said earlier, guys, just make sure that it flows into the top of my client's head properly. Now I'm going in with my Snap FX trimmer, setting in my initial bald guideline. And y'all know how your boy does it when I do tapers. I like to leave that half, cir uh, half circle type shape. And now I'm lining up my client on the back. Just because I have the trimmers in my hand already. So I feel that it makes it a little easier and quicker for me. Alright, and now I'm following what I do with that trimmer, with that shaver, getting this taper as bald as we can get it. Now I'm taking my number four guard on my Snap FX clippers, and what I'm doing is I'm just debulking the taper area. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm floating this uh, this clipper up and away the higher I get up into the hair. And the reason why I'm doing that is because once again, guys, I want this to be able to flow into the top of my client's hair really, really nice. And as y'all can see, I'm coming behind the ear a little bit. And I want to take all that down slightly, but still fading into the length that he has on top. And then the thing with curls, guys, you got to you got to make sure that you're uh, combing that down because if not, it's going to curl up. And when you do fade it in, it may look faded, but when they wear it a different way, it may not be faded completely. So now I'm going in with my lever open, setting in my next guideline, and then I'm going to fade this section down. Remember guys, I am going to uh, follow that same shape that I created, 
and then I'm going to close my lever halfway, come halfway into this section and then close my lever all the way and attack that bottom line. So here is my number one guard lever open, going to do the same exact thing guys, come up another section using a slight flick out motion, still following that same shape that I created with my trimmer. And then I'm going to close my lever all the way and attack the bottom line in this section. And this may or may not get uh, this bottom line completely out. And that's totally fine, guys. I can always come back in with my 0 or my 1 16th if needed. And as y'all can see here, I'm using my corners a lot when I'm blending. I like to do that when I'm doing a taper and especially when I when I have a little bit of room to work with. You know, the way his head shape is, I didn't have a lot of room to basically place, uh, place my clipper. So I had to use the corner of my clipper a lot. So this is my 1.5 guard. Same thing, guys. Coming up another section using a, a, a flick out motion. I am uh, My lever is all the way open. I'm going to set in this next section. Then I'm going to close my clipper and come right below that with that clipper closed. So here is my number three guard and I'm going to start doing some down fading. So I know I used my number four previously to uh, debulk this area. So now I'm going in with my three lever open and I'm just trying to come right below what I did with that number four guard. Trying not to create any lines, trying to use a flick out motion. That way the blend flows into the top of my client's head. And as y'all saw me do right there, I did just close my lever and I'm coming right below what I just did with that lever open, doing the same technique, same uh, flick out motion. That way the three blends into that three and a half, which blends into the four. And this is my number two guard. Once again, guys, same exact thing coming right below what I did with that number three guard. And I'm just uh, trying to uh, blend this all together without, without creating another line. And now I'm going in with my zero guard, trying to get rid of that line towards the bottom of this blend, the line in between my clipper open and my one guard closed. And then I'm going to adjust my lever as needed, just do some lever play, corner blending, just do what I got to do to get this blend to come together. And then here is my four again. Basically what I'm doing is just some more detail work, uh, cleaning up anything that I just basically didn't get earlier in the cut. Uh, just trying to make it look like a finished blend instead of just like a rough draft. Cause basically that's what I do guys. My first pass through when I'm doing a haircut, nine times out of 10 is like the rough draft and then I go back and clean it up. And then now I'm just uh, doing some more down fading technique, went from that four to that three. And I'm just gonna work my way down, pick whatever guards I feel is needed to get this blend to come together. And as y'all can see, I do got that comb in my hand, making sure that I'm combing that hair down, that way I can see what the hair is doing whenever I'm going over it with my clipper. Same thing here, I went uh, one guard lower, so I believe this is my number two, maybe my 1.5, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is the number two guard, but nonetheless, uh, I did that, and now I'm moving on to my client's lineup, and as you can see, I'm starting off in the middle of my client's head, set in my initial guideline, and now I'm just working my way over to the side that I blended, and then I'm going to go all the way till I reach that vertical bar, put that vertical bar in, and then hit that C cup. And as y'all can see, that blend isn't 100% there yet, you know what I'm saying? And that's perfectly fine, guys. Like I said, I'm going to go back and just detail it some more and get that blend to be right, you know, after I line up my client. Y'all know how I like to do it. I have to line up my client. That way, it takes my eyes off of the blend for a little bit. You know, it just, uh, it just helps clear my eyes up a little bit. Sometimes I'm looking at that blend for too long and, you know, my eyes start, uh, start playing tricks on me. I start seeing things that's not there or I think it's blending what it's not. So I go to the edge up and then I go back to the blend after that. And I do want to give a shout out to Babyless Pro. I want to give a shout out to Dennis and Magali. They really hooked me up with the Snap FX when I was at the CT Barber Expo. And I got to tell you, man, these clippers, they sound nice. You know what I'm saying? Like the clipper and the trimmers, the DLC blade on the trimmers work super, super dope. And then I, I like the uh, the Snap FX clipper a lot. I like the fade blade on it. It just, it just works really well, guys. But now that that lineup is there, uh, going back into the haircut, going back, detailing it, just really trying to get this blend to come together a little more. And then I decided to use some blending shear over comb. I did that a little bit, uh, made that blend come together, and then I moved on to the opposite side of the haircut. 
And as y'all can see, we're gonna be doing the same exact thing that I did on the left side. Set in my line with my trimmer, uh, went in with the shaver, and now I'm debulking with that four. And then I'm gonna blend up and then blend back down to detail everything, line up my client, you know. The whole nine, everything we did on the left side, we're doing the same exact thing on the opposite side, guys. And if y'all have any questions about these clippers or this haircut or anything else about barbering in general, feel free to drop it down in that comment section, guys. I try to get back to almost every comment when y'all comment on these uh, videos. I really appreciate the comments y'all leave in my videos. And I try to get back to all of them. You know, sometimes I can't or sometimes it's like there's some uh, it's like people are making statements under my videos, So I really don't have nothing to say back. But uh, if y'all leave a comment, guys, especially if it's a question, I'm going to try my best to get back to it. And make sure to smash that like button if y'all like this video, guys. And y'all just let me know what you think about this cut so far. Let me know how y'all think I'm doing. Let me know if y'all would attack this cut differently. I know a lot of people probably would have attacked this cut differently because it is an intimidating cut because them curls, man, sometimes they want to go up. Sometimes they want to go down. Sometimes they don't want to curl the way they need to be curled. So, some, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's a hard haircut to do because it may look good one day and if... The hair doesn't curl properly the next day it may not look as good so it can be intimidating can be hard to do but just follow the process follow your steps and nine times out of ten guys it's gonna be a good cut All right, so now we're on the opposite of my client's head. Uh, we already finished this taper. Now we're just lining him up, trying to make these lines match on both sides of my client's edge up. Uh, we're going to go all the way to that vertical bar, hit that vertical bar, hit that C cup. And I did think, I told y'all that we added enhancements. Uh, really, guys, I did enhancements. He didn't really need them, but I did it. And I'm glad I did because I felt that it really took this haircut to the next level, really made everything pop even more. And y'all see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But y'all check out that C cup, that thing looking sharp. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm adding them enhancements, like I said earlier, guys. Uh, this is no drip from 245. I believe this is the black. And then what I'm doing here is I'm just going over my client's lineup with that, uh, with that no drip. Just trying to get it as sharp as possible, but not where I'm spraying too much to where it looks fake. I want it still to look natural. I just want it to look a lot sharper. But y'all check it out, man. It's really just filling in my client's hairline. Really just making it look, you know, like I said, just taking it to that next level. And then we did double up on the enhancements, meaning I hit him with some hairspray. And then I went in and I hit it with the hair fibers just to really fill in everything a little more and just to give it more of a natural look instead of you know looking like it's paint on my client's head it kind of just makes it look like it's actual hair now so i like i like doubling up on my enhancements i feel that it looks better in my opinion and that's what i like to do but once i did that i hit it with some more hairspray and i'm going back in relining up my client just to make sure that i get all that hair that uh them hair fibers that i sprayed on top of my client want to make sure that i redid that but y'all check it out guys this is the uh before look this is how my client came in the shop looking and this is the after y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section or not this video but y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section if y'all like this video please make sure to smash that like button also if new to my channel make sure to subscribe one time for your boy remember guys if you're in the houston texas area and you want a haircut from your boy you can go to my website tankbechopping.com you can book there make sure to follow me on insta on instagram and tiktok and that's basically it youtube i appreciate y'all for watching until next time let's go you yeah.